Well, at times, literal meaning is that the action in any given scenario slow down to a degree in which the observer would be able to clearly see action at the same pace as a speeding bullet. The process is based on the notion of cinematographic motion, in which a frame consists of 24 images, but instead of using one camera, numerous devices are involved, each filming one second of the clip. A connection can be made between Edward Mybridge and the bullet time effect. Mybridge, a pioneer for motion photography, photographed a horse riding event with 12 different cameras in order to prove a point in which all four hooves of a horse leave the ground simultaneously. The French director Michel Gondry was one of the first to use this process within commercials and music videos. According to Lisa Peirce, the camera moves in a circular motion around the subject while it is frozen in time and space. To achieve this effect, each camera must be placed at a similar radius away from the subject to ensure that the bullet time effect remains consistent. In big Hollywood productions, for example The Matrix, the actor is centered in the middle of a huge green screen while multiple cameras are placed around them. Afterwards, in post-production, graphic designers would remove the green screens and insert an artificially created setting. Now that you have an understanding of what bullet time is, we will show you our own personal examples of how we use this research to recreate this effect as close as possible by using just one camera. Here are the results. Bullet time can be used for different entertainment purposes. In Swordfish it is used to enhance the scene. And in Trek, bullet time is parodied. As Rehack explains in the Migration of Forms article, bullet time has shifted into other media platforms, such as real-time action in video games. As John Gator explains, in the making of the Matrix video, bullet time around the world has introduced new ways of photographing things that will be revolutionary as when cameras went from sticks to cranes to steadicams. Now the future of cinematography is leading to virtual cameras that can be placed anywhere.